Hello and welcome to the Wedding Dish Podcast. Grab your fork and knife and take a seat at our table as we dish on all things weddings. You'll hear stories and tips from real couples and wedding pros about love, life, and entrepreneurship. I am your hostess with the mostest on the Wedding Dish Podcast, Sarah Alipin, and I am the CEO of Photos from the Hardy and District Bliss as well. Uh, Before we get started, last week we dished with an amazing guest, who talks all about wedding planning and how to really honor yourself in your uh, wedding planning and celebration of your day. So check that out if you haven't. And thanks everyone for tuning into The Wedding Dish. Today, we are dishing with a passionate artist and photographer that welcomes the weird and celebrates imagination and makes a space where couples really belong. The human behind weirdo weddings, Jen Shulock. Thank you so much for coming back on The Wedding Dish again. It is such a pleasure to have you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be back to have some dish and food and drink with you. <laughs> I remember the last time I was like, I'm on the wedding dish, now I'm hungry. <laughs> I brought my breakfast wine coffee mug that has coffee in it. I brought my enjoy every moment mug. So I think okay. between the two of us and your kindness shirt and my electricity shirt, we we got it going on this morning. <laughs> and the red hair and the pig hair. And all the colors. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm really excited to dish with you today because we're talking about courthouse weddings and how they are not boring. And Jen, you've photographed a lot of courthouse weddings and elopements. Let's start with what the stereotypical or what we think of as being a courthouse wedding and what that looks like. And then we're going to talk about how we can make it cool. Oh my gosh. Yes. Because, you know, like every time a couple and I talked to them after the fact, they're like, oh, yeah, we just went to the JP. And I was like, why didn't you call me? Because that's kind of important. And so what I what I see a lot of couples do is you go to the courthouse, you set your appointment time, you go into the courtroom, you get married, and then you walk out. That's literally all a courthouse traditional wedding is, is you're just literally going to go up there for 15 minutes, the judge is going to marry you, and you're you're done. But and can I go into how we can make it more fun or should I just? Oh, like yeah. It? I mean, that my next question is literally, quote, in my script, <laughs> what are some of the ways couples can make them more exciting? <laughs> oh, I, this is why I'm like, couples, please, please understand that as photographers, we want to capture all of your moments. And even if it's the JP, even if it's an ugly courthouse room, I think, um, what we can do as well, even as wedding pros, right? As wedding photographers, I feel like every moment is worth it. And that means if you're like, I'll just give you an example. My groom was late to his own courthouse wedding. (laughs) So I'm photographing him walking in late with the walk of shame. I mean, it's just, (laughs) it's great. And then they're like, okay, we got to go make sure and tell the judge that we're here. And so I'm capturing every single moment as they're, he's like, he invited people to their courthouse wedding. This is what I love is that I've been to the kind where it's just the couple. And I've also photographed the kind where they invite however many people is allowed into the courtroom. And then this one in particular was so fun because he was a longtime friend and they just decided that photography was important. And I was like, I agree. And so that, you know, they let you, depending on your courtroom, the photographer does get to have a little bit of creative liberty as far as location. You know, you're not stuck at the back of the church, like in some of the big church weddings or anything in the courtroom. Yeah, you can't run around in front of the judge, but there's so many different cool angles that you can get inside of a courtroom, even if the courtroom is ugly. And a lot of times I've made it interesting by photographing the clock in the room, because as they're getting married, there's the time that they got married. Um, The details of what you wear at a courthouse wedding can be just as fun. Um, This way you can get super frilly and and traditional or you can go all the way to the other side of non-traditional where i've had people show up in cute little sundresses i've had and mind you some of this was in winter too they're getting married in the middle of winter and she shows up in this cute little white sundress not even joking but it was something that they made it their own though and when you call the photographer to come in and be a part of your day that's just kind of like it's extra special because visually you can work on your clothing. You can work on locations inside the courthouse that are interesting. And also 
depending on where you live and what courthouse you are in, a lot of them do have a lot of architectural value to the city that you're in, to the neighborhood that it's in. Um, there's a lot of probably really cool windows, a lot of cool reflective flooring. Um, most of these courthouses have some kind of a historic significance. Yeah. So I think every courthouse I've ever been to has its own little flair. That's why I say they're not boring. And that's why I say that a couple, if you're going to do this, have a whole portrait session and make it a memory, like a big memory and a big moment. Because even if you were doing this in the backyard, I would say, make it important, make the photography important. And the courthouses, I have yet to have a pretty courthouse room but you make it as pretty as you can as your as the photographer and the really it's the moments that I'm capturing I'm capturing the smiles the awkward standing they've mostly never been married before so they have no idea what they're doing even in a courthouse room <laughs> hopefully they've never been in the courthouse either <laughs> yeah yeah you're like <laughs> And you know, you can take flowers in if you want flowers. You can you can just uh, take nothing in with you and just, you know, and you know, nothing and no one, just you and yourselves and then have that moment with the judge and just, you know, we have a great judge here in the Fort Worth area. He makes me laugh every time he does the ceremony cuz he's like, "So, what you doing here?" <laughs> so you're going to get married, huh? I can picture this in my head and, and I he, love it. And he grills them. He grills them a little bit about their story and, and you know, how'd you meet? And, you know, <laughs> I love it makes that. Me every time I've had that judge at least three times at the Fort Worth County Courthouse. Yeah, it's so fun. <laughs> That's so cool because then they get to actually like tell their story. The judge is infested. It's not like the kind of thing where you feel like – it's just like a rinse and repeat, you know, it's more custom, like somebody cares, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I really think that it makes it even more special if somebody's lighthearted and really just excited that they're there. Yeah. And I just, it just makes me laugh every time I think about it. Cause it's just such a great space. And, you know, and the great thing also about courthouse weddings is that you can get married at random times. Okay. Like whenever the, the um, judges are available and the time slots that are available, I like the fact that you can get married at three in the afternoon. You're not worried about anything outdoors unless you have a snowstorm or an ice storm. I mean, really, you can go get married without any weather um, hangups. And yeah. Then, yeah, you go get it done. You know what? Have yourself a nice dinner afterwards or plan an event with your friends and family and then surprise them and say, hey, guess what? We got married today and it wasn't boring. <laughs> I love how you have just listed off like 75 things people can do in rapid fire succession. Yeah. So talking about, you know, wearing cool things, like something that represents yourself, bringing in details, inviting people if you want or not, um, mm -hmm. choosing to have the full photo shoot where it's like indoor, outdoor, cool reflections, using architectural and historical moments in the photos. Um and I think I said reflections, but it may yes, have you just did. been in – Okay, cool. Um, and then you said have a party afterward. Um, find a judge that resonates with you, um, someone who's marrying you that really resonates. Um, all of these things, have a party afterward, do dinner afterward, surprise your family. All of these things are great ideas. Yeah. I mean, my clients are amazing. They had no – no inhibitions about running off to the courthouse and they knew exactly what they wanted and they made it happen. And I think that's what I just get to be part of that journey. Right. And they want it photographed from start to finish. Well, their start to finish may be an hour and a half. I mean, it's great. Yeah, it's really great. And every city has its own unique, um, again, a historic option. I'm sure there's a lot of, I've, I find it very rare that a courthouse does not do weddings. Like I think here in DFW, there maybe is one that I've heard about recently that stopped doing courthouse marriages there. And I think it's just because they didn't want to do it. <laughs> um, but I was just like, you know, so I've done them all over the Metroplex and different looks and different shapes and different sizes and different cities now. And, uh, but I love that every single client just knew what they wanted and they knew the area they knew the um the neighborhood they wanted to be in and well, if they that... did and if and if they didn't i said hey i know a couple of things right nearby that are kind of really cool and if you want to go do dinner here's a couple of ideas and then here's a couple of photo shoot locations that maybe we could go do something that's not courthouse related but just right down the street you know 
And that is exactly, I was, it was in my bag of things that I wanted to say <laughs> is that courthouses tend to be, like we as a as society have built around courthouses. They tend to be like the heart of the metropolitan area um, or the small town or whatever. So everything kind of tends to be around there. And there tends to be a lot of like really cool architecture not related to the courthouse that's right there Mm -hmm. as well, which is super fun. And just a lot of like busy activity. There are always beautiful gardens by courthouses in my experience. Um, And even if the courthouse doesn't do weddings, like this, I mean, I'm in DC, so the Supreme Court doesn't really do weddings. (laughs) Yeah, I can imagine. (laughs) They're a little busy. (laughs) They'd be super busy. Uh, But I photographed weddings on the stairs. You can't be on the marble because then it's a a protest or presentation or something. But if the stairs that are forward, there are all these restrictions, of course, in the DC area. But as long as you're not on the marble, you can get married in front of the Supreme Court if that is your vibe. That's cool. See, that's another way. That's another way you could like twist a courthouse wedding, right? Like, yeah, call up an officiant and say, "Hey, we're going to get married at the courthouse," and I'm doing air quotes, y'all. The courthouse. <laughs> and but I, I'm, I'm with you. I love architecture. Architecture photography was like my first love before mm-hmm. I ever started working with people. So I love the leading lines. I love historic architecture. I'm a mid-century modern type of gal. So anytime you get me in a mid-century modern room, I'm like, oh. <laughs> you know, it's like some of these hotels have like really modernized and they have that mid-century feel, right? Like, and it's, yeah, a lot of the courthouses is that deep, dark wood, historic, uh, you know, I don't know. Some of these are Stones. like, what, 1700s, 1800s, you never know, yeah. like, um, big banisters, but uh, you know, most of them have these multi levels where you can like, you know, do some photos from above or below and the couples just, I, sometimes I make them, let's just be honest. Sometimes I make them do little first dance in the courthouse. <laughs> it's so sweet. <laughs> depending on, depending on the viewpoint that I have from either, you know, if I have a high point of view and I'm like, just dance around, I want to get you dancing in the courthouse. It's the most cute thing. Like I just, it's just super fun and it makes them feel special and again not boring. <laughs> yes, not boring. I love it. I it's so fun and and finding a photographer that can like get that sense of, you know, if you would want the dancing photos, you know, if it's the like if you want to have those like moments, it I think that's a, an important point here too. Find someone that gets you and and can help you make your courthouse wedding not boring. <laughs> yes, because, you know, sometimes it takes a team, right? You, know, yeah. you may have an idea, but you're, you know, whoever you hire may have an elevation of your idea. Or it, the experience that we have as photographers, the longer we're in business, the more experience we have. And we pull from those experiences, right? And so... Yeah. um so I'm, I'm continually pulling from experiences with my clients and then what they liked or didn't like because of an experience they had. Um, even if they didn't work with me, I just, I hear their stories and I'm thinking, well, you know, we can break that rule. We can do this. We can do that. Why don't we just do this? And then, you know, feel confident in who you are and show up as who you are. That way I can photograph you. <laughs> that is perfect. Oh my gosh. So well put. Um yeah. And speaking of who you are, I would like to hear a little bit about your personal engagement story and vow renewal that you just did. Oh my gosh, y'all. So (laughs) I am my own client. Let's just, let's just be real. Like I, now that I understand how, what I want and and what I want to give my clients, I realize that I am my own client, but I can't photograph my own wedding or vow renewal. (laughs) I mean, it's just... But what happened was, is my engagement. Um, I had told my husband, I said, I want to get engaged at a Blue Man Group show or Kid Craddock in the morning. And if, I mean, this is obviously a, a podcast that goes out everywhere. So Kid Craddock in the morning is a morning show here in Dallas. And it um, it was run by the infamous Kid Craddock. And he passed away in 2013. But when, um, I, that was my nine to five job lifeline was the, sh- the morning show. Every morning from six to 10, I listened to the entire cast talk about life and city life and and pop culture and everything. So I told my husband, I would, I would rather get engaged two different places, Blue Man Group or Kid Craddock in the morning. And so it just so happened that one morning I let him know I was going to be there. 
And I'm fairly sure I was either going to be late to work or, you know, I, it was off work or something. And I just took off to be there a part of the morning show. And he shows up and he's like, Hey, what's up? And I was like, Oh, Hey, I, you know, I I knew I was going to be here. I'm waving at him. Like, what's up? So kid starts this, this ruse of, um, there's a whole bunch of actual couples standing out there. And there's like, you know, you can watch the show from the canals, you know, look inside the window and watch them do their show. And so he had called, it turns out he had called the producer and set up this whole secret proposal thing. And so I get in there and I'm trying to win something from kid. Cause he's like, yeah, you're going to answer these questions and win this prize. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, I want this prize. And it's couple related. You no, know, Zach and I had only known, we don't know each other for maybe six months, maybe, maybe eight months. I don't remember. So they start going through these questions and I can't get any of them right. <laughs> And uh, which is funny because, and the only reason why is because when you saw, when you ask somebody their favorite movie, it could change every year. Oh, it could change yeah. every month. And so, so when I, they said, what's my favorite movie? And I was like, I looked at Zach and I was like, you're so wishy-washy. I don't even know what your favorite movie is. And and so he finally led me into an answer. Um, but I was like, I, I knew his shoe size and I knew sort of his favorite color. <laughs> Sort of. <laughs> but I didn't know his, you know, I didn't, I don't even think it answered his musician, right? Like, what's your favorite musician? And I was like, you know, if I was to answer it now, I was actually miming it recently. I was like, it's probably Pantera. It's not, it's not the other one that we talked about. But so anyway, he gets down on one knee. That was like the fifth or sixth question. And he gets down on one knee. And I was so ready to win this prize that I was like, what is happening right now? I'm ready to win this prize. And I was like, what are you doing? And he gets down, hey, Jen, I love you so much. And I'm like, so excited i was like well of course i'll marry you i mean i want to win this prize <laughs> um so kid was so sweet though because you could hear him like making fun of me like the whole the whole uh, i just the reason why i'm saying that is because i just recently had my vow renewal and they played the old audio and i'm like <laughs> kids like yeah you know so much about each other <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome oh god and i was like here i am 18 years later married to this guy who i only got maybe two out of five questions right (laughs) but that just goes to show you that you know there's some core values that you share as couples and there's core things that you may not know each other's favorite movie but doggone it you love each other (laughs) oh my gosh so yeah that was how that happened and it was super awesome i have the original photos that they took from outside and and my That's shirt amazing. my shirt says life's too short to be unhappy and i was in really this place of i just wanted to be a light to so many different people as an artist as a as a person and just you know the the world gets so dark right and i just wanted to be a light and a love to so many people so i had all these shirts made like i just randomly like have ideas and i go make stuff so I made that shirt. Of course you did. And I wore it. It just so happened. Like it's, a, it's like a t-shirt. You know, it's like nothing nothing fancy. And then um, he's in his work shirt because he'd come over from work. <laughs> but awesome. kids, kids like, hey, let me see the ring. And what Zach had done was because it was so last minute and the producer said yes, um, he went and got a basic gold band from like Walmart or something. <laughs> And then he, it's just something to get me through that day because we'd already been designing my ring um, because we, we were one of those couples that we, we knew we wanted to be together. We just didn't know when. And so the, the proposal was kind of like the icing on the cake of, uh, oh, we're, mate, we're really official now. <laughs> but I have my I still have my original wedding ring. Oh, um, wow. I was one of those brides and I'll call myself a bride. I was one of those brides that I did not want to have multiple rings or I didn't want anything soldered together. Um, I also think I, I felt like an offbeat kind of a couple when I made the decision to have sapphires in my ring. I had a bezel setting, which I don't know if y'all know what bezel settings are, but it is, it's basically, it looks like a vintage styled ring with it, with the the stone that's encapsulated inside the, the metal instead of a prong, like how the jewels sit on prongs. It's like flush with the ring. Yeah. So there's like, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to get caught on anything. Oh my gosh. So the bezel set was like perfect for me and um with little tiny blue sapphires and it's just i wanted one and done literally just one and done and it's also a two-tone with a white and um yellow gold so oh interesting his his ring was also uh, two-toned you know and obviously he didn't go all out for his ring he just went to some 
I don't even remember the name of it now, but it's just a basic metal <laughs> ring with, I think, some hammer detail. But he was his was gold with a, a the white gold out, outside. So, yeah, I mean, we have these little details as couples, right? Like just little nerdy things that, you know, you make decisions on that, like, again, I got married in platform sketchers <laughs> I mean, and a really big poofy dress, a really big poofy dress with a blue band themed wedding. Um, so like there's elements of my nerdiness, nerdiness throughout our engagement and our wedding. And then uh, can we can we go into what just happened this last week? <laughs> oh, I would I would highly like to know. So actually, this this has been in the plans for like two and a half months. I've been talking to the producer and I was like, hey, so I got engaged on the, the, the radio show and I'd like to come back and do a vow renewal. And I was like, well, first of all, it's it's great content for the world right now. We need love stories. We need your love story story told. And if I'm not telling your love story in photography, then I'm talking about you to somebody because I love your love story. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to throw my love story into this because I'm still married to this guy. He's he's wonderful. We have a kid together. And so, you know, two and a half months later, we we set it all up and I had it in my head. OK, I was like, I've got all these great Blue Man fan details that I've built up over the years. I've been a fan for 27 years now and they've been they've been around for longer than that. But I've been a fan for 27 years as of this year. And That's so I have because these... she's 29 years old. Yeah, I'm totally 29. I was all about two. <laughs> so I had made I had made this dress that was, uh, and if y'all have not seen the show, you go to the show and they make art at the show. And I call it a spin art. I'm fairly sure they call it a spin art because they spit on it twice and then they spin it the third time to make this really cool swirl. So I had taken that idea and put it into a dress. And so I have all of my personal spin arts, which I have some behind me. You can't see on you know, the audio, but you can on the video. You can, there's a couple behind me in my office that the blue man makes in the show. And so I thought to myself, man, well, let's just make a blue man spin art dress. And I obviously made this like 10 years ago or you know, maybe the 20th anniversary of Blue Man Group. But I made this dress. I had it printed. And then I wore my original wedding shoes, which I still fit because my, shoe, my feet have not changed. And they're platform sketchers and they're white. They, I mean, they're mostly white still, <laughs> you know, the, the test of time, y'all, the test of time. And I wore, um, I didn't even know what socks I wanted to wear. Cause when I got married, I, I used my grandma's NBC socks, which is just so random. Like it makes no sense. But this, this time I pulled out my little alien socks that my friend Jane bought for me. And they're so, they're like ankle socks. And they say the little alien is waving in a spaceship. It says, okay, bye. Like as in goodbye. <laughs> so I wore those on my uh, vow renewal day. I also had a wonderful wedding pro friend named Kate come in and she's with Rain Florist and she she designed a bouquet specifically spin art inspired. And so cool. like I was telling y'all, it's got a swirl to it. So she was swirling it with blue feathers and pink, pinkish, really large flowers. And then these little yellow roses in a swirl as well. So I was really happy with that. And, you know, being the weirdo that I am, I was like, I needed to have people with me who understood my weirdness and celebrated my weirdness. Cause I was like, again, I can't photograph my own wedding or my vow renewal. So I had to bring in somebody to help me out. So I brought in my friend Lucero, who just totally hooked me up with her, her smiles and her little rainbow dress. And we all went into the studio together to do this big radio thing where we, Hey, let's catch up after 18 years. And why are you here? And I was like, I want to have a power duel. Let's do it. <laughs> so one of the one of the staple characters, Big Al Mac, actually did our vow renewals. He is actually ordained. <laughs> Not that we needed it, but it was just it makes it funny because he's hilarious and he just starts going off on rabbit trails that make no sense and you can't help but laugh. So um they started the music, you know, of the getting married and then I just we freeformed it we freeformed our vows because I think that's the best way and I always encourage my clients to if you are going to freeform your vows if you don't speak from the heart it, you know surely you have amazing nice things to say to your partner right um so I just freeformed it and I just listened back to it again today and I'm like I'm such a dork but I love him so much <laughs> and his his was so sweet back and and everybody's clapping. And now I have these great photos again, like 
I wanted to commemorate this moment, this celebration of 19 years ago, I got engaged on the radio show, 18 years married, and here I am going back to the original proposal site and celebrating with the man, the man of my dreams, the love of my life, and two of my best wedding pro friends that just, we all love each other. And uh, so coming from me, who's the weirdo of the group, right? The weirdo weddings of the group. I just knew that I I put in details that I would appreciate as a bride. I put in my shoes. I thought about my outfit. I thought about his shirt because I didn't care what he wore. Like, honestly, I was like, I was like, you just come, come as you are kind of a thing. But he ha- happened to have this beautiful blue man, blue shirt. And I was like, you're wearing that. Okay. And I said, put on your black silicone ring because he's, he's, he had a health scare. And so he's lost a lot of weight. And um, so he has a different silicone ring now. And I was like, put on the black one, please, because that makes more sense for our look. <laughs> so it was so much fun, so much fun. But you, again, like I am my own client. So I had to think what, what is the best me that I can show up as that's very authentic. And I got to tell you, and I'm so glad that when you choose the right photographer, and when you, we, and I'm saying this to both of us, like when you choose the right photographer, you literally don't have a care in the world. You can actually enjoy your event. And that is what exactly what I did. And that's what I definitely want to give my clients. And I know that my friend Lucero, she just, she did exactly what I had hoped. I didn't have to think about anything. I didn't have to think about turning my head a certain way. I didn't have to like, that's what, how it should be when you're working with your photographer. And that's what I, I know I give my clients. Cause they're like, what happened? Where were you? And I was like, dude, I was everywhere. You didn't see me, but, <laughs> but that's how I, um, that's how I, I feel for my clients. If they're, if they're insecure about something or, Uh, no matter what your wedding, honestly, if it's a courthouse wedding, I mean, people are nervous at a courthouse wedding and it's literally just, you know, because it's a big deal, y'all. It's a big deal to step up in front of somebody and declare that you're going to be with this person and slip the ring on the finger. If you're doing the rings, put the rings on the fingers and make this profession of love. It's, it's a big deal. It's a commitment. And, you know, depending on where you are right now in your engagement or your relationship, It is a big commitment, but is with the right person. Oh my gosh. It's like the best thing ever to have a partner throughout your whole life and share your life with somebody. So yeah, I agree. The sweetest thing. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I love that story so much. It's so you, you're going to have to send me um, some of the photos. I will send you the photos. Yes. I'll include them in the show notes from today's episode. So you all get to see them. I'll do a little gallery um, in there. I think that'll be super fun. It is. I'll, I'll make sure everybody sees all the details. Cause again, I am my own client. So what would I show? What would I capture for my client? If they only had a, if they had a courthouse wedding that isn't boring, well, you know what? There's still details to be captured. So I'm excited to share those details with you because every single thing was meaningful and thoughtful. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> That's amazing, Jen. Yes. I'm so glad you like did this. I'm so glad you honored who you both are. And congratulations on 18 years of marriage. 18 years of marriage. Yeah. 18 years of marriage. Wow. Congratulations. I, I honestly can't believe it. I can't believe it. I mean, we, I just, the, it, you know, they say time flies and I'm like, really? I, it's flying. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, wait, didn't we just get married? Oh, wait, we were like two different people back then. <laughs> I know you look back at the photos now, like I, so I'm almost at 11 years um, and you look back at the photos and it's like, you just look like these like tiny humans that I, you know, it's, everything's the same, but it changes. It's so funny. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, my glasses have changed like eight times over the- Oh my God. Right. I have- (laughs) my hair, my hair was not pink back then. So it was like, it was a couple of years in to my marriage that I started becoming pink. So it was like, you know, I was- coppery golden blonde with different glasses. It was just different times. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everything changes, but everything stays the same. You yeah. still are super happy and, exactly. <laughs> and love each other. <laughs> yeah. I, I love that my my vows I said back was like, I, I love watching movies with you. I love listening to heavy metal music with you, you know, stuff like that. Because I'm like, that's our everyday married life. And they're like, and they ask us, what do you want to do after this? I said, you know, we're just going to like, my baby's going to graduate and kindergarten. And I said, my joy was just to be here with you guys today. And I, we didn't even like go do a special dinner or anything. I was just like, this is it. 
I am I am fulfilled. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it so much. It's so great. Well, Jen, thank you so much for coming on today, not only to talk about how to make courthouse weddings not boring, because they definitely don't have to be, and you have certainly proven that today, um, but also to tell your own story of your engagement and your vow renewal and echo some of the pieces that you talked about how to make your wedding not bo- or your courthouse wedding not boring in that story. Um, so where can people find you online? Well, my, I call it, I'm going to start calling it my mothership. My mothership is my website at pinklineimages.com or weirdoweddings.com. They're both going to take you to the same place. Um, on Instagram, it's all the same thing too. Weirdo weddings or pink light weddings. You're going to find me in both places. And I also do conceptual work. So they're all kind of linked together. So you can find this little mind map of where I am. <laughs> um, and then I also started, you know, a little cute little podcast called Tattoos and Toddlers because I have tattoos and I have a young child and it's, it's fun to talk about business ownership and parenting and have fun tattoo stories. <laughs> so it's just it's silly. It's fun. Um, again, I love having conversations and thank you again for having me out. Like this is so much fun. Your, your podcast is fun. I love your concepts. I love your, um, your ideas. So I just thanks for having me back on again coming. It's such a joy to catch up with you again. And uh, while you're finding Jen in all of the places, then you can also (laughs) find us and we'll link out. Don't worry. It'll be in our description and our show notes. So if you if it's already fallen out of your brain, how to find weirdo weddings and pink light images and Jen in all of the various places, then we'll link. Don't worry. Uh, You can find us at The Wedding Dish Podcast and TheWeddingDishPodcast.com. And we will share photos not only of Jen's work, but also of Jen's vow renewal as well. And if you want to send us the audio from your vow renewal and engagement, we will also share that. Um, And don't forget to tune in next week. I have another amazing guest coming back. Um, And follow, rate, and review the podcast, all the normal stuff. And until next time.